Good evening, everyone. My name is Brianna Wilcher, and I would like to welcome to you Mellon Union graduation ceremony for the class of 2015. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. This, these past four years have involved some of the most memorable and influent, influential moments of our lives. Thank you to all our parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support, as well as to the members of the Mellon Union faculty and staff for their guidance and patience. We truly owe you for all that you do for us. Let us pray. Our great God and Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our life and our health. We thank you for this special occasion that we have come together to honor the 2015 graduates. We thank you for this nation, our community, and our school. We're so thankful, Father, for our teachers and guides who have helped us to achieve this goal. We thank you for our parents, families, and friends who have helped support us and guide us in our lives as we have grown up. As we graduate today, may we look to you and your word as guidance to our future. We thank you for your great love and grace in sending your son for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Good evening and uh, welcome to Milton Union High School's 2015 Commencement Ceremony. On behalf of our students, faculty, administrators, and Board of Education, I would like to thank you for being a part of this special evening. It's always a joy for us to see so many members of our community come together and celebrate this moment with us. Along with our soon-to-be graduates, we will come to recognize and celebrate the work and the learning that the students assembled here today represent. Before we begin the festivities, I would like to introduce the following guests that are with us this evening. Mr. Jason Tinnerman, our uh, mayor and guest speaker. Mr. Chris Long, our board president. Dr. Connie McCarroll, our board member. Mrs. Shelley Swigert, also a board member. Mr. Sam Huffman, 
the Vice President of our Board of Education, Dr. Ginny Ramel, Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Kay Altenberger, School Treasurer, Mrs. Lori Grube, Director of Student Services, Mrs. Katie Hartley, Middle School Principal, Ms. Jessica Wenning, the Assistant Principal for the High School and the Middle School, Mr. Mick Neely, our Director of Technology, Mr. Tom Kugler, Director of Athletics, Mr. Michael Crenshaw, our School Psychologist, Ms. Paula Shaw, High School Guidance Counselor, Mrs. Taya Woodall, High School Guidance, and our two class advisors, Mrs. Elaine Hart and Mrs. Denise Fox. Welcome. I would also like to recognize any and all Milton Union faculty and staff members who are with us tonight in the audience. Please stand so that we can thank you as well. This is Memorial Day weekend, and I would like to invite any veterans who are with us tonight to stand, along with our students who are, or seniors who are entering a branch of the military, so that we can thank you for your service. And one last group of people that we always like to thank, and. This is the group of people who have been the biggest parts of the lives of the students sitting out here. I would like to ask that the parents please stand so that your children can thank you as well. <laughs> Take a good look at the class of 2015. There are over 100 faces eagerly awaiting the moment when they walk across this stage and receive their diploma. I, I want you to look a little bit more closely, however, and you will see over 100 different stories that have been written about their journey to this stage tonight. Each of these students have their own unique tale to tell about what it took to make their way through school and how their life has changed from the time they entered the kindergarten door to the time that they leave us this evening. These students have faced success and setbacks made friends that will last forever, and made memories that shine brightly as their years go by. They have studied history and science. They have untangled mathematical knots and have learned to express themselves through the written word. Some of these students have mastered everything thrown at them, while others have arrived here only through focused effort and willpower. A few have faced overwhelming challenges and fought through them so that they can proclaim, I have earned the right to walk across to this stage on this night. Regardless of the narrative, each of these tales that you see before you have the same ending, their graduation this evening. I speak for the entire Milton Union High School family when I say that we are truly honored to have been a part of their stories, and I wish them nothing but success and happiness. Tonight, however, represents something new for them. Tonight represents a blank page that has been laid before them, a blank page in which they will write the stories of the rest of their lives. I am certain that they will be amazing. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our valedictorians. Our first, and I'm going to ask them to, to come up here once I introduce them. Our first is Trey Barnes. He is the son of Brett and Katie Barnes. Trey has been involved in many activities throughout the school district and athletics. He has participated in football and tennis and was the basketball team manager. He has been a member of various musical activities such as show choir, young spirits, and the school musical. Trey was a part of the National Honor Society and church youth group. After graduation, Trey will attend Cedarville University with a potential major in business. Our next valedictorian is Bethany Benkert. She is the daughter of Tim and Janet Benkert. 
Bethany has been involved in many activities, both at school and in the community. She loves music and is a member of the Milton Union High School Band, Show Choir, and the community's Young Spirits. Bethany is active in Kids Club, a program for at-risk kids sponsored by her church, and the 5-2 Lunch Bunch, a free summer lunch program. She has led others through the Junior Teen Institute and Freshman Focus programs, and Bethany is planning on attending Ball State University. Our third valedictorian is Brooke Falb. She is the daughter of Dwayne and Jennifer Falb. Brooke has been involved in various community and school related activities such as varsity basketball, varsity tennis, National Honor Society Freshman Focus, Interact Club Varsity M, the SWBL Leadership Conference, Envirothon, Habitat for Humanity, Student Government, Student Council, Yearbook, Quick Start Tennis, and Adult Team Tennis. After graduation, Brooke will attend Wright State University to major in biology with a concentration in physical therapy. Claire Fetters is our next valedictorian. She is the daughter of Doug and Fran Fetters. Claire participated in varsity tennis, varsity softball, National Honor Society, Habitat for Humanity, Interact Club, Varsity M, Freshman Focus, Peace Camp, Quick Start Tennis, and Environment Awareness Day. After graduation, Claire will attend the Ohio State University to pursue a mechanical engineering degree. And finally is Andrew Lynn. He is the son of William and Teresa Lynn. Andrew has been a member of the National Honor Society and the class secretary. He played football and ran track. Andrew's plans are to attend the University of Dayton, where he played football and pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. After college, he plans on working in the automotive industry. This speech takes a little bit of assembly, so just be a bear with us for just a moment. moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you'll miss it. Look back with us on some of the events you wished you could have missed. So remember that in math, those ridiculous word problems. If you have 18 watermelons, 18, and I have seven cars, how many waffles will fit on the trampoline? Purple, because aliens don't wear hats. Math problems always seemed unrealistic, but history always seemed great. History? It's social studies. And social studies left so many holes. The last thing I heard is that we were all still in the Cold War. Forget about the difference between history and social studies. Which is it? English or language arts? My favorite book? The Bernstein Bears. Nancy Drew. Party Boys. Boxcar Children. The Magic Treehouse. It was so simple in elementary school. Then in high school, we have to memorize speeches, write research papers, and participate in grammar boot camp. Yeah, when will we ever need public speaking again anyway? <laughs> oh, the sweet smelling memories of gym class, then arriving in art class, drenched in sweat. Dodgeball? Dodgeball. <laughs> While sweating in art class, we had to draw a self-portrait, and it never looked like anyone. With paint on our hands, we tried to avoid getting our recorders messy. Hot cross buns. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just like playing the wrong note. In computer apps, you couldn't go back. During the five minute timings, you're down to three minutes because there was no backspace key. 
Just like you couldn't hit the backspace key, there was no washing off the smell of perch and worms after dissecting in biology. And as for Spanish class, no hablo espanol. Even though we complain, these classes have shaped us. Remember those word problems in math? They seemed pointless at the time, but they gave us the foundation for problem solving. In social studies, history, social studies or history, whichever you prefer, we may have only made it to the Cold War, but we have a greater understanding of the founding of our great nation. USA! 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 In elementary school, language art seemed so easy. We could read books to earn an ice cream sundae. And you could earn two ice cream sundaes if you read enough books. In high school, there were no sundaes, but we were able to build on our skills to become better readers, writers, and speakers. Unfortunately, dodgeball may still happen. Just learning to have fun is just as important as learning how to work. Regardless of how students were doing in their other classes, the arts gave students an outlet to express themselves, even if the portrait or song could not be recognized by anyone else. Because of computer apps, we are more efficient typists, and we're easily able to spit out our five-page government paper. The sciences attempt to answer all of our why questions. It taught us how to examine and solve a problem. As America becomes more diverse, foreign language classes helped us to be able to communicate with more than just our immediate community. We've reflected. We've reminisced. We're prepared. We're ready for college. We're ready for the world. Even though we complained, we wouldn't miss these experiences for anything. In the words of Ferris Bueller, I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you'll miss it. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Just don't forget your phone. <laughs> Sure, if we're hearing our own voice. 
voices as we close the door, even though we are so desperate to stay. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Our keynote speaker this evening is Jason Tinnerman. Jason is a lifelong resident of the West Milton community and a 1993 graduate of Milton Union. His wife, Nikki, works in the Milton Union Elementary and his four boys attend the Milton Union schools. Jason has been a soccer coach for high school and youth teams as well as a robotics coach. He is a local businessman, served as the Mira Soccer Commissioner, Mira President, and has held positions on Village Council as Councilman, Vice Mayor, and currently Mayor. I'd like you to welcome Jason Tinnerman. Congratulations, graduates and their families. I'm honored to share this glorious evening with you. I realize that I'm just a roadblock in what you came for tonight. You want that stack of diplomas. I'm going to keep it short for that reason and brief. No one here tonight came to listen to me speak, maybe outside of my parents and my wife. I actually hold a record in Village Council for having the quickest council meeting. And a couple of months ago, I performed a wedding in under a minute. So I'm going to go for number three tonight and get you moved on to your celebrations. As I prepared for this evening, I planned on talking about characteristics that would help you achieve your success, attain your goals. Things like honor, trust, determination, passion. And while these are important and they define who you are, and who you are does define what you achieve and where you end up, I realize that you're graduating from Milton. You're a resident of this community. So you've learned these things. You started that education. Instead, tonight, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to find balance in your life. Not just balance between work, school, family, fun, but a balance in your balance in your learning, a balance in your attitude. See, I've noticed that 
there's two types of people that don't seem to taste success. It's the ones who can't do what they're told and those who can do nothing but. The first one, they just can't listen. You've been around them. They can't follow simple instructions. The second one, usually for fear of failing, they can't make a decision on their own. They have to be told everything to do. So how do you know which one? When do you listen? When do you figure it out on your own? That comes from your judgment. And your judgment comes from experience, which a lot of times is a result of bad judgment. But it, is this confusing? It, it usually is. I'll, I'll share a story with you. My favorite thing to do is to water ski. Uh, growing up, my family spent a lot of time in a boat on the lake every summer. I was the youngest in my family. I watched as my sisters, my parents, even my grandmother would ski. So that's what I wanted to do. At a young age, I learned to ski on two skis. But what I really wanted was to ski on one, to slalom. One summer, I finally had the courage decided I was ready, jumped in the water, and they threw me one ski. Gave me some advice. And the advice I remember was my father telling me, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall forward and backwards and sideways. But after we drag you through the water enough times, you'll find your balance and you're gonna get up. So I grabbed the rope, the boat pulls off, I give him the signal, and sure enough, I fell fell many times. Not really important how many, but I've fell quite a few times. <laughs> Each time the boat would circle back, and right there in the boat were mentors, people who wanted to see me succeed, who wanted to give me encouragement and advice. Eventually, I made it. Not through skiing. You don't learn to slalom by slaloming. You learn through falling, through the failures. Life is the same way. You have to be willing to learn from your failures. Not be afraid to try because of them. Listen to your mentors. So as you venture down your path into your new, exciting next stage of your life, be willing to listen to your mentors. Take their advice, their encouragement, add your own experience and judgment, and when the boat circles back, grab the rope and try again. Congratulations. I remember freshman year vividly. We walked into high school without a clue of what to expect. Copy, shenanigans, and inevitably paste echoed through the halls. Flow building was a blast and Spanish market day was very memorable. All in all, freshman year was a time of change and I'm glad I got to experience it with all of you. Sophomore year was a year of many firsts. I became the first sophomore class in the new school. The horrible smell of the freshman hallway did not exist anymore. We watched the old school get demolished, and at that moment, we realized that the old school was a lot more special than we had thought the year before. We were the last freshman class to walk through the three-story, unair-conditioned hallways. Sophomore year was the beginning of the Harlem Shake. Um, it was the year where all we did was attempt to beat the 40th level of Candy Crush. Everyone was starting to get their license, and Miley Cyrus was the loudest person on the radio. What does the Fox say was the coolest, and then the next week, the most annoying song that we've heard? Selfie and twerk were added to the dictionary. Miss Harlow showed us Gattaca. We dissected worms. And OGTs were the biggest craze of our education. 
I could go on forever, but we obviously don't have time for that. Sophomore year was a year first, a year of change, and a year that would be unforgettable to most. It was a year that we grew together as a class. Through all the laughs, tears, and hardships, and in between, we became more than stupid freshmen. We became the coolest sophomore class to ever walk the halls of Mill Union. The coolest. <laughs> so the class 2015, sophomore year was the year that got us to where we are now. Be proud of yourself. You made it. marked the beginning of what we were told would be our last year to have fun, and I'd say we did pretty well living up to that standard. Although we had to part ways with our CTC friends, we never really lost contact with them. On October 28th, we joined forces and began our undefeated reign in powder puff, trumping the seniors 21 to 12. But this wasn't our only sports victory for the year. The boys cross country, girls tennis, and boys tennis team all swept the SWBL league, and the girls softball team even made it to districts. How could any of us forget the addiction of playing Flappy Bird on our phones or anticipating the next person's cold water challenge video on social media? And I don't know who hadn't heard of the Harlem Shake. All the fun memories of our junior year couldn't possibly put into a one minute speech, but I can assure you all one thing, it was definitely a year to remember. Senior year. Remember when we were undefeated in Powder Puff two years running? The classes we beat may try to deny it, but it did happen. Remember when our homecoming float got fourth place for the fourth year in a row? Oh, I guess float building must not have been our calling. Remember when the ice bucket challenge had us all dumping freezing cold water on our heads for a good cause? Remember when no one had any clue what their future plans were going to be at the start of the year? Luckily, we've all seemed to have figured them out by now. And finally, remember when graduation was just something we talked about and had meetings about. Well, it's finally here, and we did, and we did it. Congratulations. Okay, we do come here for a reason, and we're about to get to that reason. These folks are all ready to uh, be conferred that diploma. Dr. Rimmel, members of the board, our administrators, our faculty, our parents, and all of our guests, I, would, I hereby certify that the following students have met the graduation requirements set forth by both Milton Union Exempted Village Schools, as well as the state of Ohio, and are members in good standing of the Milton Union High School graduating class of 2015. <laughs> Kaylee Morgan Schwarzstrauber. And I do want to add, it is very appropriate to cheer and applaud between each person, so feel free to do as much of that as you like. <laughs> Josie Marie Burbridge. Brody James Albaugh. Jessica Lee Albaugh. Jake Alexander Blevins. Anna Elizabeth August. <laughs> Cody Allen Boggs. Adrian Renee Auden. Christopher Allen Bosey. Cheyenne Danielle Barnes. Woo! 
Jacob Wyatt Brown. Kayla Elizabeth Barnes. Cameron Andrew Bushelman. Tony Lynn Estes. Matthew Norris Broombaugh. Trey Austin Barnes. Bethany Rose Benkert. Claire Jordan Fetters. Brooke Alexis Fall. Andrew Durkat Lynn. Brianna Marie Wiltshire. Yeah. Amelia Joy Wharton. Julia Elise Brady. <laughs> Shelby Ray Broombaugh. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Davis. <laughs> Natalie Joe Burns. Skyler Vanderman Dieter. <laughs> Molly Joe Campbell. <laughs> and I should have added this before, both Molly and Adrian Auden, who we just recognized, have both also earned their associate's degree. Jonathan Logan Michael Dillon. Tegan Noel Chitwood. Ethan James Ferguson. Logan Marie Combs. <laughs> Haley Michelle Crawford Countryman. <laughs> Katie Jean Courtright. Zachary David Friedman. Paige Elizabeth Curtis.
Devante Alexander Fugate. Courtney Marie Dilloff. Zachary Tyler Glodry. Madeline Joelle Eisenhower. Zachary Brian Greenwald. Sharon Nicole Ellis. Jarrett Bryle. Elizabeth Rebecca Fetters. Christopher C. Heisey. Maggie Janine Gooseland. Ethan Robert Heron. Colt Russell Charles Hildebrand. Kendra Nicole Cronin. <laughs> Nicholas E. Hissel. <laughs> Usually they try to run away. They, this one keeps coming. So. Caitlin Joe Grace. Brandon Michael Jacobs. Shelby Lynn Grisso. Russell Edward Jenkins. Ryan David Lively. Sean Michael Lorton. Faith Clara Helzer. Colton James Mago. <laughs> Rachel Elaine Hines. Chase Daniel Martins. Joseph Michael Huffman and Trevor Harrison Wood.
Christine Audrey Hubler. Zachary Allen McFadden. Caitlin Starr Hurd. Tristan Lee Crazy Horse Moore. Madison Noel Jackson. Brandon Ryan Myers. Sierra Raylan Maggart. Matthew John Collis. <laughs> Natasha Leanna Renee McQuarrie. <laughs> Michael Thomas Pickrell. Lisa Ann Neely. Yeah! Yeah! Samantha Brooke Nichols. Yeah! Cody Brooks Powers. Yeah! Rebecca Ann Ogden. <laughs> Caleb Gable Robinette. <laughs> Emily Taylor Oldham. <laughs> Luke William. Siebert. <laughs> Shelby Michael Pennington. <laughs> Joseph Ryan Smedley. <laughs> Heather Renee Reynolds. Jared Lee Spencer. Bradley Lane Spittler. Jonathan Matthew Holcomb. <laughs> Kathleen Marie Robertson. <laughs> Justin Allen Spittler. Jacob Tobias Stevenart. <laughs> Brianna Nicole Smith. <laughs> Kyle Allen 
Swartz. Tiffany Lynn Smith. Bradley Robert Joseph Stein. Ashley Brooke Still. Alex Renee White. Ryan Lewis Tipton. Macy Ann Whittington. Caleb Michael Vincent. Dalton Lewis Voorhees. Sophie Lucia Wharton. Dustin Lee Weber. Quentin Joseph Weiss. Kaylee Cheyenne Young. <laughs> Alexander Quinn Wilson. Chad Allen Wynn. Nathan Thomas Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the class of 2015. Before we make it official and the class officers come up here to turn the tassel, which does represent passing over through high school, I want to thank everyone who joined us tonight. Indeed a pleasure to see so many faces and so many people that come to celebrate with our young people. I know that they appreciate it, and I know that all of the folks from the school district who work with them every day appreciate it as well. Thank you. Okay, everyone go ahead and stand up. And take it from your take your tassel in your hand and take it from the right and move it to the left. <laughs> 